JP Morgan is one of the biggest company in the world. In the financial sector, they are always at the forefront of technology. They have already made lot of progress in terms of artificial intelligence and that is why when I stumbled upon this paper from them, Flow Mind, I was quite intrigued. As I went through this paper, I was not disappointed because this is yet another manifest of the quality which always comes out of JP Morgan. In this paper, they have introduced a novel new approach called as Flow Mind that enables automatic workflow generation using LLMs following the proposed generic lecture recipe of prompt design. Through an extensive and rigorous study, they have dissected each component of their prompt design to demonstrate its importance and contributions to the overall effectiveness of automatic workflow generation. Flowmind allows them to harness the vast capabilities of LLMs, specifically GPT model or generative pre-trained model in a more defined and structured manner leading to robust and efficient code generation for workflow execution. A key feature of their framework lies in its robustness against hallucinations often experienced with LLMs. They ground the reasoning of LLMs with the aid of APIs. These APIs are reliable functions developed and tested by domain experts ensuring their accuracy and reliability. Proprietary software developed in industries typically composed of such reliable APIs. Flowmind is able to leverage APIs provided to it while ensuring that the LLMs do not interact with any proprietary code or data, protecting both code and also ensuring data privacy. This protection is achieved by allowing LLMs to act only on the high-level description of the APIs, enhancing security and ensuring a reliable generation of workflows. If you look at this diagram, this is where Flowmind automates spontaneous tasks demanded by users through on-the-fly workflow generation, advancing beyond traditional automation of repetitive tasks designed by domain experts. If you look at this one, this is the overview of Flowmind framework and it is composed of two preliminary stages. In the stage one, they have followed the proposed generic lecture recipe to generate a lecture prompt which educates LLM about the context, API and get ready to write code. And then comes stage two in which LLM can then take user queries or tasks and auto generate the workflow code that makes use of introduced APIs. The workflow code is executed to deliver the result. During stage two, they have enabled a feedback loop between Flowmind and the user where Flowmind provides high level description of the generated workflow in plain language and the user inputs feedback to Flowmind to approve or refine the workflow if needed. Understanding the necessity for human oversight, their system also integrates user feedback. Without assuming the programming experience of the user, the system provides a high-level description of the auto-generated workflow, allowing new users to inspect and provide feedback. Flowmind then takes a user feedback and adjusts the generated workflow if needed. This two-way interaction empowers the user to enhance the workflow based on their knowledge and the unique demands of their tasks. So it enhances the flexibility and adaptability of their system. There are a lot of other good examples in this paper. For example, if you look at this one, this is primarily an example of the lecture to LLM. The first stage of the Flowmind framework involves a lecture on the context, available APIs and the need to generate workflow code for the LLM. Also, they adhere to their proposed generic lecture recipe to generate an informative lecture on the context and APIs, ensuring the LLM has a clear understanding of the overall goal as well as the scope, input and output of the functions in the APIs. The lecture recipe is crafted with three components, each with a distinct role. First, there is a context. So first, they have introduced a context which covers the domain of the expected task from the user. For example, in their experiment, as shown in this figure, they have set up the context as handling information queries from user. Then they have APIs. There, they have provisioned a list of structured description of the available APIs to the use to use for LLM. They have introduced the name of the function. As you can see here, 
the input arguments and the output variables. Note also in this diagram that the function name, input argument and output description must be semantically meaningful and relevant to the context above such that the LLM can comprehend to make good use of the function. And lastly, they have the code where they have asked the LLM to prepare, a, prepare to write the workflow code using the provided APIs upon receiving user queries and tasks. So the crafted prompt following the lecture recipe enables the LLM to gain the necessary understanding of the context and available APIs to utilize them in the subsequent stage of the workflow generation effectively. And throughout this paper, they have highlighted the effect of each component in the lecture recipe in their experiments. This is another example, which is primarily presenting a significant leap in using LLMs for automatic workflow generation by combining lecture prompt design, user feedback, and secure grounded reasoning. Flowmind provides a reliable, adaptable, and efficient solution for handling spontaneous tasks with auto-generated workflows. Also, their work opens new ways for more widespread adoption of LLMs, particularly in industries where data security and the spontaneity of tasks are of paramount importance. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please share them. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.